always tempting to um, try to find a good day spot, but I think I want to just do a little spin fishing here at the end. Um, I can always send you the Everest back, I think, right? On my main account, I'm literally, I've always just used it as my marker rod reel, which is obviously no big deal. All right, let's just, um, let's keep catching some stuff on feeder. Oh, really? Did it get, did it get eaten by the change in policy? Is that what you're thinking? All right, what do we want to try here? So we're going to try to not use the elegance, just because it's a little pricey. <laughs> But the other new one we got that's cheap is the uh, Dragonfly original. All right, let's see what we can do here. Digging. Wow, that's a nice black carp. garlic muscle Uh, no, 120, 121. All right, we'll go try that. Is that going to be more chub and stuff? <coughs> this has really just mostly been perch. We did hit a couple of chub here, I guess, but... I know it's so hard to be patient on some of those the nibble bites. Throw between two logs sticking put in the water. Okay. Bless you. Getting a little late, so let's just focus on spinning for a couple minutes here. So just straight ahead, huh? <coughs> this will be a good spot to chest test some of these lures although we don't have a lot of time be really nice if we had that new setup in terms of how far we could cast them <clears throat>
Fury works best. All right. <clears throat> what are we working with test wise? Two to ten. Use the spiker here. <coughs> Grats on level six, Bream Slayer. Do you want to rotate some just a little bit? Nice little chub. <clears throat> I like it. Yeah, we definitely would have been better off doing this in the morning, probably. But I don't want to get a few casts in since we got those lures. It's actually been quite a while since that's happened. I guess if you're watching this and you don't know what just happened, uh, when you get that message, rig is cut off by fish teeth, it's uh, pretty much you ran into a pike. <laughs> it's pretty much what happened. And this line that we're using is probably about, like, I think we have about a 0% chance of not getting cut off by fish teeth. Well, you know, Kyle, sometimes things change. <laughs> sometimes things change. Although, you know, could have been that lure we put on. We did put on a big, nice, juicy red and silver spinner bait. Pike like the red, right? Thought I was going to ignore what happened. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I love these perch that just come right up to the shore. Um, I need to dig real quick. That 
That's why we're using the cheap lures. You never know what's going to happen. Oh really? What about the hooks makes that more likely? Oh, you mean because the fish bounce off the hooks? Like they're just cheap hooks, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, lower quality, I got you. Wow. So, I mean, almost, not every time, but so many times we are getting a perch right at the shore if we just let it sit there. Now it's getting super late at this point to be spin fishing in this spot probably, but no way. I didn't know that. So you can't change the hook because you're not high enough level for that hook. Wow. That's crazy. That does seem like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we should definitely come back and especially when we get our our upgraded uh, spin spin fishing setup. Um, okay, is there anything that would be nighttime? I mean, I guess potentially the white bream spot. One point six depth. I can't tell what the coordinates are though. 98120 Wait Where is 98 Oh, okay, interesting. So we actually have to go all the way around. Yeah, I mean, we totally could do rough. I, I don't know that there's an order. Um, I, I think I might just go test this white bream spot, which we might catch rough anyway, if they're active there. Just want to see if this white bream spot is doing anything. Of course, it'll be best on float. We'll try one float, but we'll do it on feeder as well. That's an interesting little spot. I haven't been back over there in that little corner in a long time. All right, let's see here. Anything new? Oh, we do have a rough order, actually. And we're one away from perch, which is kind of ridiculous. Huh. Well, let's see if we hit any rough. We know that the rough will be in the pond and we're gonna be really close to the pond. We caught rough yesterday in the pond, but let's try this little spot. Rough can be on the main river too some, right? Let's just check out this little 98, 120 spot. We won't, I mean, we're gonna run out of red worms pretty quick, so. Unless it's really slow. This is one of those spots early on if you want to like try to get a really nice long cast. Casting from on top of this hill. Get some wind behind you. 
Why isn't it letting me... Is it blocked off that... Alright, so here's 98, 120. Alright, so let's just... Um, we want to go to small hook. I don't know about how small, though. Let's try 20 with red worm. And let's just put... Uh, we don't have any... I don't have any roach ground bait right now. Although I bet I have the, do we have the ingredients? Yeah. Wait, what bait did I put on there? Oh, I did put red worm, but we don't have many left, right? Oh, we only have one piece left. So we actually don't want that to be, we actually don't want that to be red worm because we want to test red worm on the float. So we'll put worm on this. Sure, we'll do 22. I mean, we really want a little bigger than that, right? But, well, we could do like 16, I guess. And this is a much deeper. Let's just see if this does anything. Yeah, that's a good point, Kyle. The uh, Donnett's rough spots are usually on the main river. There's a white bream. Cast it slightly closer this time. Bream it there. River muscle. Thank you. 
So that's two white bream. We're just not getting them on float yet. Might just need to go smaller hook size. I don't know. Kind of surprised we haven't seen them at all on float. I don't really want to catch tiny ones on float though. Let's see what this does. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we're hitting white bream. Over fifty nine. Nice. Three point six six silver. Is that worth it? Sounds like I'm not going to make it. So it might be worth looking anyway, though. Wow, that's a big salmon. Nice salmon. Yay. So no white bream order. All right, so we just need two over 44. The last post about bear was bleak. All right, so they got to be over 44. That one not over 44. We may kind of cut it a little bit short here, or close because of the time it is. Uh, let's go ahead and put our third feeder out. Small hook.
bet it's still on eight. No, it's on fifteen still. Oh. We already No no no, that's bleak. Sorry. I'm getting my bleak and my rough confused. Yeah, we're good. Alright. You have four hours and 50 minutes left on restart. Um, <clears throat> one sixty nine eighty three, huh? Still using vanilla strawberry. What I actually think I'm going to do is because of this restart, oh man, I'm tempted to try 6494. Look at that. I wonder what the bite rate's like though. Looks like it's okay. I love 6494. Uh, I just don't know how much is going to change with the reset. What I'm thinking about doing because of the reset is actually when we finish this up in a few minutes, I'm going to take a break. And then um, once the servers are back online tonight, might do main level account stream for a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Although it will definitely be, ooh, it's a good one. Wait, how? what are we on weight now? I think that's it, right? Yeah, I saw that post by Droz. We'll see. It just depends on what happens with the uh, server restart, like if it's migration or not, right? Goodness, we've been farming these uh, rough orders so far.
What's up, Reavers? It's going well. Fishing's going good. Nice little gibble. Ooh, on red worm. I like it. It's another another rough. Oh yeah, I guess it is that time, isn't it? We could uh throw out a float. Do you remember how much time's left on the rough order? By any chance? Hmm. I kind of want to use the 24, the 24 hook on uh, Bleak. I may go. May go turn that in real quick then. All right, let's try it. Just for fun, those let's try one before we go turn that order in. Have two left. Yeah, rebellions are nice. Not too good value for the cost. What's up, Jake? I'm getting, I'm, I'm not getting the, uh, I'm not getting the, uh, ru uh, the bleak on my red worm like you did. Thank you, Dave. Gonzo is here. You let anyone in here? <laughs> hey, there's a decent one. Ooh, 82 gram. Bloodworms. Two over 44. That shouldn't be a problem.
Come on. Stop doing the fake one. <clears throat> wow. Those bleak are killing me right now. Yeah, that's right. Man, that river muscle order reset to another river muscle order, it looks like. I think you're right, Kyle. Oh, perfect. Man. Cafes have been so good. really been so good um, 24 more silver we're back at a hundred silver I think it's a really tough question I, I I'm guessing that we end up um, I'm guessing that we end up getting a second starter feeder kit before putting our resources towards saving for the spinning setup but it is tempting I, I think we will I think we will start saving spinning t before getting a third feeder though maybe I mean if we end up at old Berg and we're like oh the bream spots are really good we just need to be as efficient as possible that'll probably be the quickest way to save up for it so Sometimes you got to spin to make make silver, but we'll see. Gudgeon or a mystery? I did see a gudgeon spot here at Winding, and there's that cafe order, so that was kind of tempting to think about, but I don't know. I'd rather come just do a little bit more spin fishing at this spot before calling it. Let's see if we can get some stuff. Get some fish here. A couple more perch or whatever. What? Is that this hook again? Do we just need to change out the hook on this? This bell has done quite well, at least in terms of bite rate. We can also cast it a little farther, which might help. Yeah, this is a new leveling guide or leveling series.
I'm sure there are. I have not made it to Old Berg yet, but I am sure there are. Check out VK. Another little chub on the furry. Blunty's document can link you straight to the old bird VK site. Um, we're trying different different lures. This is the starter lure, one of the free ones you get. Um, it's like the F U R R Y Fury, I think. I, I really don't know. We just started kind of fishing over here recently. Um, but this one's been doing pretty well. The problem with this one is it seems like, I don't know if the hook's just so low quality, but we're, we are getting some fish just kind of bouncing off at times. Stream 2004. Okay. We'll try that. Let me cast it here first, and then we can go try that. Might have been that morning bite in that tutorial spot, though. Casting upriver, yeah. Oh, did I, um, wait, is that the one that I lost? I think that's the one I lost, right? Is that, is that the one that I got piped on? So it sounds like 5142 with 15 meter clips, pretty good for bream right now at Old Berg. Garlic dough is bait. That's what somebody just said in chat, at least. More red worms. Oh yeah, we already did the perch order, didn't we? All right, the stream two, right? Oh, oh, four. That's the one we got piked on.
Oh yeah, yeah. We should look at hooks, especially for that fury thing. Woo. Right at the end, a little perch. In three, how you doing? Nice, nice. All right, so far this is looking pretty good. Nice job. Are you doing 20 speed? I'm doing 15 at the moment. What's up, clicker? I mean, this is, I mean, for this little starter setup, this is just like the perfect size fish, right? What is that? An eyed? Oh, it's a little eyed. It's a little eyed. One thing I wish we had on here was, let's see, we're using the 2000, so three kilo, 2.5. Do we have a, um, yeah, like this. This would just be better. They put a leader on there, fluorocarbon leader. At least have that option. I don't know that fluorocarbon leader is going to matter here, but I do like having something other than that old Russian line on there. I think it's just better. Ah! 
Dynamics, thanks for the follow. All right, let's cast once with the leader on, see if it feels like it starts changing anything. All right, the leader size is not appropriate, but so let's actually check the diameter here. 0.22 the diameter on this is 0.18 it may actually make it worse i mean the material is better fluorocarbon versus mono uh but i i'm not sure well unless we just start popping off with it i'll probably take it back off for here you've got worse diameter but better material so is it a net gain or loss i just don't know Ooh, well, that's a nice first fish. I want to see if like are we making any silver doing this because this is awfully fun to be doing this at such a low level but how hard is it to make silver doing <laughs> I guess if you have cafe orders to support it it's better if, if also if you're just really into spin fishing it's might as well start getting practice and a feel for what's working, what's not working. Oh, I forgot to look at the hooks, didn't I? So, again, currently no cafe orders to really support what we're doing. We already did the perch, but just from fish market, we started spin fishing about here. So we're at about seven silver in 15 minutes. I think it's tough, right? Before you get to Belaya, if you're not hitting cafe orders with what you're doing, like it, it's fun and that's what's important I suppose but it does probably slow down your progression unless you just get on some really good spots Now, what if we cast here from here in that direction and just bring it back? Maybe we even slow down the retrieval speed a little bit.
All right, let's try the 20 speed like what you're doing. What's up, Adrian? How are you doing? Just as a reminder, everybody, we've got a server's going to be down this afternoon. So I think what we're going to do today schedule wise is when we wrap up this in the next little while, I'm going to actually be done for the afternoon. And then once the server's back up, it's possible that I'll do our my main account. We'll do a little stream from main account. Maybe get some amber comps in or see what we feel like doing. Assuming the server comes back up on time and all that. So what do you think, Dave? Um, have you tried with and without a leader? I mean, obviously I'd probably have to do a lot more testing, but it, it's, I'm just not sure it's any different. Just not sure. No difference for you. <coughs> nice perch. I don't know if the, even the perch and stuff, like spin fishing, if it's worth more XP or something, but it seems like we're leveling a little faster, which that's not a great combination. If we're leveling a little faster, but making less silver, that's kind of rough, but. I guess what I'm saying is at this level, we definitely want to keep working in those rough and bleak cafe orders and all the random orders we can hit at Mosquito and stuff. because of the light setup. You're right, we're getting 50% bonus to XP. And for the most part, we've caught a pretty like reasonable amount of markers spin fishing too. always the pike order so true lose another lure I knew it it have y'all noticed I mean it is <clears throat> it's a decent percentage of times if you don't get a fish retrieving back in right at your foot some little perch will just hit it
Overall, it seems like there's more perch casting at that white log in the water and a little bit better chance at chub casting straight like more south down the riverbank. From here, Adrian, or move up, move back up towards the bridge. Because that other spot is kind of more like, more like this, right? Uh, you think I'm too far up, Dave? You think I get a better bite rate if I backed up some? I just kind of like being on that dock over there. It's definitely easier to get speed up casting down river like this. Or across river. Excuse me. Oh, from the dock. Okay. Yeah, I've tried this a little bit and it just it seems seems a lot slower or it was earlier. 7388. Okay, I'll try that. Let me do this one time. getting that <laughs> we're getting that cheap hook thing a lot if that's what it is fish just popping off all right so you're just over here this, yeah I mean I guess this is what we were doing before huh you're just dropping it at your feet and moving it around hmm Rick Flick, nice grats on level five. Yeah, you control top waters, Michael. Somebody was doing that at um, Sura for Asp, I think. Okay. Towards the white log as well. Oh, I'm so tired of that happening. Maybe I need to start setting the hook more. As soon as it as soon as it hits. All right, there we go. This one's going to stay on. Well, 
we're getting quick bites here. I feel like a lot of the fake bikes are me hitting the bottom. I've seen that a little bit, but not where it's like, I don't know. I mean, definitely not the ones where it's giving me the, you know, hit R and there's a fish on thing, right? But then it pops off real quick. It's getting a little late. Bite rate's going to slow down naturally. This is a heavier lure to support Wrangler's theory. I think setting it's helping. Pretty nice little perch there, right at the end. Nelma? I have not caught a Nelma in a long time. This ended up being pretty good. Like, if you're low level and want to spin fish, I mean, you could do a lot worse than this spot if you haven't unlocked Belaya yet, right? Let's make sure Cafe hasn't changed. Nah, not nothing really. <laughs> that pike order, though. All right, 41 more silver. So back up to 83 on our way to saving up again. All right, I think we should... Uh, wrap it up here so as far as the um leveling series we won't stream that again until tomorrow it's possible i'll stream main account once the servers are back up we'll just see how it's going tonight um but as always thanks for watching uh thanks for fishing along with me many of you all are have started new accounts or are new to the game been fishing with me it's been a lot of fun so um i'm gonna end the